ہمارے گرم پٹی بھی سم پیپل دے سے سو ویئر دیر از جوائنٹس پین دین دیز ار فکسڈ اوور دیر دیز ار نون اے کریپ بینڈیج یو می ہیو نون اے نیم اف دا کریپ بینڈیج اٹس اے ہائی بلک بینڈیج سو موسٹلی اٹ ہیز ٹو بی ٹائٹ ویئر ایور دیر از اے ڈس لوکیشن اور دیر از اے دیر از اے این کٹ اوور دیر سو دیز ہیز ٹو بی فکسڈ دیز ار ہائی بلک بینڈیج موسٹلی ایگزامپل از اف کریپ بینڈیج the types of elastic bandages they are what they are they are heavy elastic webbing containing rubber threads sometimes they have rubber thread bandages they have a special we allow it to stretch twice its length so it is also for, you can see the pharmacopoeic pharmacopoeial specification of this crab bandage over there it is 
have the length may be as when it is normal, it is double to the normal length of the crab bandage. Then it is made up of multiple layers at crimped cotton gauze. These are the elastic bandages. So it is made up of multiple layers at crimped cotton gauze over there. Then triangular bandage. You can see in the picture how these are placed over when there's a fracture over there. These are the made up of cloth over there. So these are triangular bandages. Also cut a smart bandage, corner to corner cutting of muslin, then used in first stage. Whenever they're the initial stage, when the patient has fractured, so initially they have to put triangular bandage to hold the organ. Then orthopedic bandage. So what is function is? Function is immobilization support to broken bones, material, plaster of Paris, synthetic cast materials and plastic sheets can be used. In the, what they use? Plaster of Paris, synthetic cast materials, plastic sheets, then and fabricating material. It's a plaster that firmly bound to fiber, maybe polyester, fiber glass. Nowadays, different varieties of uh, these bandages are uh, orthopedic bandages are available just to ease the patient, just to uh, fix the fracture accordingly. Then stockinet used prior to application of plaster of Paris. Sometimes you need to see in the picture, these has to be placed just to keep the air or just to heal the wound. They provide comfort, comfort, comfortability to the patient. So what they do? They stockinet. Then cast padding. Apply before application of cast, absorbs and allows skin to breathe. Sometimes it has to be under the POP they have to apply, sometimes they have to, over that POP they can be applied. So these are cast padding is there sometimes, or where there is no, the uh, plaster of Paris is not applied, so these are to be applied, they are cast padding over there. Then adhesive tapes, so you, you may have experience of seeing these adhesive tapes. Similarly, you sometimes there's a smaller cut, you have a, uh, bandages there, uh, there's this uh, name of that, I, uh, I forgot that one, it's the, uh, simple tape is there, you just place over there and that is adhesive. These all are adhesive in nature because in that case of bandage, they has to be fixed, they has to be knotted, they have to be fixed with the help of certain type of things, but these are adhesive so they fix over the place where you have to do. So these are medical and adhesives are widely used in hospitals to secure medical dressings, life support equipments, and monitoring devices onto skin, which requires careful consideration and knowledge about these things, adhesives, tapes over there. So these types of adhesives are, they have natural, semi-synthetic and synthetic types. The material which they apply over there, they are natural types, a semi-synthetic and synthetic adhesive material has to be used. Then further, a natural material is there, there is starch gelatin they may apply. In natural rubber resins, they may use in these uh, type of tapes. Synthetic, in synthetic they apply, vinyl, acrylics, synthetic rubbers they may apply, resins, aldehyde, a mine base, epoxide uh, they have to apply. In semi-synthetic, cellulose, combination of both things. Cellulose, cellulose nitrate, methyl cellulose, etc., has to be applied in this type of tape. Adhesive tapes in pharmacy, the clustering of skin composition, constructions, and functions make the adhesion, adhesion to skin very challenging. Whenever you need this, you have to apply this. Now, what it has, skin is a self-renewable and replenishable surface, so it can be recovered accordingly. The skin is a low surface tension in certain area over there. The skin is a rough surface with hair folds, pores for sweat and oil glands and wrinkles. Also. So you have to apply, to, you have to select tape according, according to the nature of the skin over there. Acrylate, acry, uh, acry, uh, acrylate adhes uh, adhesive tapes, What they take, they are widely used in surgical dressing, 
where reduced skin trauma is required. Non ruminal fabric backing is used due to hypoallergenic materials based on adhesion, cohesion, and flow properties of monomers used. Second is porous backing materials used are rayon, taffeta cloth, well suited for heavy dressings, paper backed and used for lighter dressings. Other cloth backing, elastic cloth or foam style backing are used. Justification used in survival, they are applied in surgeries because not affected by heat, to avoid the heat, light or air, thus has excellent shelf life. Properly stick to skin, long-term adhesion when required over there, permeable to water vapor, so are non-occlusive, hypoallergenic, repeated use with minimal damage. That's why it has to be used. Then rubber-based adhesives, what they do? They are used where strength, adhesion, support, and economy is required. So cloth backed or plastic back has to be used. And composed of elastomers, they are synthetic and they are natural. Crab rubbers, naturals, isobutylene, alkyl, acrylate, synthetic has to be used in rubber-based adhesives. Now, what advantage? Superior adhesion, fixation, they can give when you apply these tapes, and economical as compared to other things. Disadvantage, they have yellow colors, rosin, antioxidants, plasticizers, coloring agents are made it to make it white. So these has disadvantages. They have to be added different things. Now what the, because mostly they, they can produce some allergics. The farms know about the, what type of allergies they can produce. So what advice and reactions caused by tapes consistent of heterogeneous and complex mixture of organic compound, what they produce? They, uh, they can produce erythema, redness on the skin. Edema, they can produce. Papillus, they can pr produce. They can, whereas bulbs type, they can produce over the skin. So can occur to patients. So firstly, patch testing should be done because some people cannot tolerate these chemicals. So first, they have to do for testing before applying these type of tapes. Combined primary, secondary wood dressings. So combined primary and secondary wound dressings, these are also called composite dressing. Have primary and secondary components. Degree of occlusion depends upon dressing types over there. It has bottom layers, <clears throat> they have middle layers, outermost layers. These are well prepared dressing over there. But simplicity of use, simple, you can take over there and wherever you want, you have to apply. It's in, inexpensive is there, comfortable there. So these are prepared dressing are available. Dressing types, the hydrogels are there, hydrochloride dressing is there, calcium alginate dressing is there. Then they further go for that. These are cross-linked polymers, example, polyvinyl pyridone, non-adherent dressings used as burn treatment, useful in hairy areas. There are hydrophilic colloid particles, fluid absorption occurs, mass of these dressings consist of gum-like materials, example, pectin, bound by an adhesive, example, poly, isobutylene, useful for low to moderate wounds. Algenic acid is a naturally occurring polysaccharides derived from brown seaweeds, highly absorbent, Use on moderate to highly wound, used to pack wounds. Hydrogel dressing is there. Where they apply it? Indications. Necrotic wounds. The wound, they are dirty, they are near to uh, deform. So painful wounds. And then advantage is reduce wound pain. Not adherent. They are placed over there, but they are not non adherence. This advantage. Macerate wound, skin, sometimes attached over there, secured by a secondary, because you need another dressing when you apply this hydrogel dressing over there. 
amorphous hydrogels are available. Hydrogel dressing is this. Impreg impregnated hydrogels, sheet hydrogels. These are advanced type of gels are available. Hydrocolite dressings, and where they apply? Indication of necrotic wounds as secondary dressing. Advantage over the self-adherent, comfort adds, fix over there, no need of extra. This, they may have bad order, injured of, uh, due to the chemical nature, injured the fragile skin. Sometimes they injured the burned uh, skin, whatever it is. So injured the fragile skin over there. Calcium alginate dressing, where they applied for hemostasis, where to close, the oozing of the blood has to be controlled. Surgical incisions, they have to apply when they put an incision on that area, these calcium alginate dressing has to be applied. Advantage, advantage is that it's a non-occlusive, reduced frequency of dressing changes. Disadvantage, distinctive order, secondary dressing, but sometimes you cannot tolerate the order of this band, uh, this dressing over there. 